Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our absolutely beautiful Silver Secret who has been doing such a great job of leveling up at a record pace in my opinion. Oh, we've got a good view of the well there, pardon that. But he has been doing such a fantastic job of leveling up. We're already at level 9 with Silver Secret, which I'm pretty excited about thanks mostly to the amazing birthday races that we have been going on. Dandy is even getting used to being jostled around in his little saddle bag so I'm pretty excited that little puppy dandy has adjusted so well but we are back you guys we are back in star stable and we are getting ready for some fun adventures with silver secret and dandy today so I thought we would go ahead and tackle the daily birthday race because that is how silver secret has managed to zip up the levels so quickly and then we're gonna go and maybe tackle a few more of the mysteries silver secret isn't really into the romance between miss morse and the construction worker over at North Link, but I think he's pretty curious about what's going on with Elizabeth Sunbeam up here. So we're going to go up and talk to Elizabeth Sunbeam because she does have a few things to talk about when it comes to the deeper mysteries of the islands, like the map that we put together. So he's a little curious about how the treasure map goes. So all right, Silver Secret, first things first, we're going to go ahead and ride over. Oh, that's right. We needed to gather up some things that James said fell off of the bridge too. Hmm. Let's see, toughest of the tough bars on the bridge. What's toughest of the tough? Let's see what that has to do. Saga, have you heard? Meh, maybe you missed the news. I've developed the toughest quiz trail in all of Jorvik. I swear it's the hardest set of questions ever. Sounds interesting, right? I'm okay, actually. <laughs> Look at James, he looks disappointed. But I'm really, I'm okay, James. I As cool as the pink gear would be, I'm pretty happy with the stuff I have. Oh, well, you know what? We're gonna accept it. We're gonna accept it. And we're gonna go ahead and accept the bars on the bridge and collect up those bars that have fallen off of the bridge in just a little bit too. Because I, ah, dang it, he got to me. He got to me. I wasn't gonna let him get to me, but he got to me. And now I wanna see what the, the quiz is. All right, let's come talk to the birthday leader. Fort Pinta! All right! So actually, we need to be here anyway for the birthday race. Wonderful! Oh, and the beautiful flowers! Oh, every time I see the gorgeous flowers in Fort Pinta, it reminds me of all the beautiful flowers, all of the poppies that actually grew next to all of the sandy dunes at the Bald Head Island that we went to in May. Oh, those are some fun vlogs to make with you guys. It's a special day, Saga! Hip hip hooray! All right, so let's go ahead and race this Oh man, I don't come to the Fort Pinta race very often. So let's see how we do. Come on, Silver Secret. Come on. Dandy's little ears perk up. Oh, he looks so excited whenever we start this. Let's do this. Oh, I love it, you guys. And there's so many quests for us to start tackling. And you know, every single time we run this race, I have to wonder where they got all of these wagons from. The wagons just seem to show up out of nowhere. It just cracks me up. Oh, and I kind of miss the really fun race that we were able to do for a little while during the summer adventures, the little summer event that happened. And you guys have said that it's going to be so much fun when we actually get around to doing, let's run over here and dash through here. When we get around to doing the uh, Halloween, or not Halloween, excuse me, when we get around to doing the Christmas, so you know, you know that trio of um, holidays that happens to be at this time of year. And there were the bars. So now we know where to go and snag the bars from off of the bridge. Good, good, good. Oh, come on, Silver Secret. I'm so proud of you. I'd be so excited if we managed to level him up again. Oh, can you guys imagine? He would be just one level behind Rose Stone, and Rose Stone is the highest of all of our horses right now. And I really do miss her. I really want to get Rose Stone out. I think she would find the whole situation between Miss Morse and the construction worker quite amusing and entertaining. After all, she was with us for all of that almost Romeo and Juliet with chicken drama that we had over in Yarlaheem. So I think Rose Stone would enjoy it. Oh no, the bus! It's a ghost bus! Silver Secret! I like his curiosity has been piqued watching the ghost bus. That's hilarious. Alright, I think we're almost there. Come on, Silver Secret, we've got this. Yay, all right, and let's not tumble off this bridge. I cannot imagine how terrifying it would be to actually try to drive a truck over this, uh-uh. But I'm a really, I'm a big coward when it comes to heights. I, oh no, Silver Secret, <gasps> that's what I get. See, I was thinking about how afraid I am of heights and I totally missed, I almost ran the wrong direction through one of the poles. That would have been devastating. Oh, we would have lost all of the points, the whole race. 
There we go. Good job, Silver Secret. All right, so let's see if we can get him. Oh, yeah. I love that he's mostly leveled up. Oh, look at that. I love how he has almost entirely spent his time leveling up through so many birthday celebrations. It's almost like it's a fun way because it's almost like that's just embracing the celebration for the fact we got him for our 100th episode of Star Stable that we did together. You guys, I can't believe it's been that long together. All right, let's race the racetrack again. It gives you 250 experience, but we're going to race it again because I'm going to see how many of those poles we can snag while we are running past him. So that might be kind of a fun challenge to try to complete the race and not fall behind on our time and not lose the race while also picking up all of those poles that fell off of the stone bridge. And yes, it is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, you guys, which means that Star Stable has updated. And this week they added in some beautiful new coat patterns, including a gray Morgan. And I was thinking in the future, it might be really fun if maybe Silver Secret and Rose Stone happen to have a child together and that child could be the gray Morgan that they have added into the game. So we're going to have to see about that. Oh, I can't grab that pull right now. Darn it. All right. What about, all right. So I wasn't paying attention. Did I get that one? Oh, you really have to slow down. Okay. We'll just have to go down and manually collect the poles. It seems. I was hoping you could just run by and snag them like when you when you pluck the bunnies right out of the grass when you're doing the bunny race, but it did seem that was the case. Uh, I'm really dubious about all of that, uh, all of that over there, the barges and the way they're stacking up so many nasty looking canisters full of who knows what. We'll have to look into that in the future too. I'm sure as the time comes, we'll be asked to tackle some quests that have to do with that as well. So, hmm. For now, we'll build our way up there. Oh, and actually thinking about Silver Secret and Rose Stone possibly having a baby, I am so excited about the news of the other Star Stable app that supposedly will be coming out sometime at the beginning of next year. And that's all I've heard about it, just that you can raise a baby horse that you can even put into the game. And I still think that would be the most brilliant thing ever. So definitely keep your eyes out for that if and when it comes. All right, come on, Silver Secret. I cannot wait to go and discover some more secrets with him. There, and now we got the right spot. All right, come on, maybe we can beat our last time. Come on, Silver Secret. And, ha! We did get a new personal best, sweet. And we came in seventh for the week, not bad. All right, James, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so we will definitely work on getting Silver Secret leveled up a little bit. Um, but let's go grab those poles from Marley just since we're here. And then I really do want to go and question uh, Catherine. I think, uh, is her name Catherine? Sunbeam, Elizabeth, there we go. I don't know where I got Catherine from. But we will go and question Elizabeth Sunbeam about what she knows about all of those ruins. Hopefully she has had a chance to translate them. So we'll check that out in just a moment. Can we get down here? Yes, I am finally starting to figure out the, the confusing and mystery of pathways that happens to be the entrance into Fort Pinta. All right, and let's go ahead and collect up these poles. There's one. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch that fell down over here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Cavaletti? Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. I've never ever seen that word in my entire life. 28 years old and I've never seen that word before. But that just lets you know that I haven't quite dabbled in equestrian how oh had equestrian hobbies before. Okay, there it is, there it is! There's the last one. Oh, you're such a helper, Silver Secret. Alright, and we'll grab that one. I guess maybe we couldn't grab them. That was easy, but maybe you can't grab things while you're in the middle of a race. That would make sense. Alright, and let's go ahead and we'll pop back over to Marley. And then we will go see what Elizabeth happens to say, like what she has to say. All right, about all of the mysteries of the island. Because I'm pretty excited to continue on with some of those quests. So we're going to go over to Steve's farm first. And we are going to try to make our daily challenge, or at least it's a daily challenge right now. Next time, we'll probably just focus on quests. So this will be the last day where we really kind of focus together with it not being a training video of leveling up Silver Secret. But I'll work on that behind the scenes because I think that would be pretty fun. All right, let's go ahead and race this race really quickly because I do want to see if we're able to pull off leveling him up to level 10 today because that would be pretty exciting. Dandy, I love the way Dandy's little ears go up every time. 
It's like he knows, he knows the jostling and the excitement is going to begin. And I would love if sometimes birds showed up at the bird feeders we helped to put up. That would just make my day. That would be so much fun. Oh, and now I want to be back in Yarlaheem. I really thought that the Baroness's Vineyard was going to be the place that I really fell in love with. But actually, I'm finding myself drawn to Yarlaheem because you can help out with all of the farm animals. And there's just so many things like helping out at the pet store that just totally call to me. Oh, and there's a secret tree house I can even go up into. I always get lost in the forest trying to find the secret tree house, though. So, oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and we've just got this jump right here. There you go, Silver Secret. I'm going to be so proud if we get him up to level 10 today. Oh, and then maybe, 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 even if I won't win, we'll have to think about maybe running a championship. It's been almost a year. I think that I should at least have the experience, even if we aren't going in to win it, at running a championship after a whole year. So I think that would be really fun. Are they over pretty quickly? Is it just like a normal race and then you're just racing with everybody else? What happens if you're the only one there? If you're the only person, do you just automatically win? I guess that's not the most, oh, we got a new personal best, sweet. I guess that's not the most exciting thing though if you just automatically win because nobody else was there. All right, there we go. Getting closer and closer. In fact, Marley might let us run his race a couple times because maybe this is the last ingredient he needs to get his race built. So let's go ahead and visit with him. And then, ah, oh, so many things. I'm so behind on pony posts and training videos, but we'll get there eventually, you guys. There's just always so much to do. And honestly, I just love the magic of Star Stable, being able just to step in to this beautiful world and kind of let everything else fall away for a little while. I really hope it gives some of you guys that same sense of peace and joy that it gives me too. All right, Marley, guess what? I gathered up a bunch of poles from the other side of the world, it feels like. My brother did very good inspections. The stopwatch I had wasn't good enough, so I ordered a new one. Can you ride to the post office in Silverglade Village and pick up a new stopwatch for me? The post office is in the middle of the village, opposite the fountain. I'd be really grateful if you could help me out. <laughs> All right, Marley, I'm on it. Oh, and I hope... Actually, did we need to go back to James? Huh. I hope we didn't need to go back to James to complete gathering up all of those poles, but I don't think we did. All right, let's go get him his stopwatch. I did say we would help Marley for a moment today, and then if he needs any more help, we'll come back next time, because I really want to go and question Elizabeth Sunbeam about what she may happen to know about those runes, because I think that Silver Secret really loves anything to do with secrets. Maybe not anything to do with magic, that's more Amethyst Mist, but I could see how he's tolerant about it, because there's just so many questions that you can ask when magic gets involved. Hey, Derek! Hi, my name is Derek. Uh, Derek, we know each other. <laughs> and I'm new here on Yorvik Island. Uh, did you know that I once worked as a photographer and... Oh, I see. You didn't want to talk to me. You only want a package. The stopwatch. Let's see. Derek. Ah, uh, Derek. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be until tomorrow. So it looks like Derek is looking for the stopwatch. And he's forgotten that we've talked to him so many times by now. But that frees us up to be able to go and talk with Elizabeth. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And then we are off to Valdel Village then. And we can go and speak with her. I wonder if this is going to like drag in the druids pretty quickly. I always feel like I need to get Amethyst Mist out for those kinds of missions. All right, and let's see what happens. Oh, what's going on over here? Claire? Oh, it's just the quiz trail inside of the Hollow Woods. Well, that's wonderful. And normally I would do those, but I am very, very curious. I just, I've been putting it off and my curiosity is too much. Elizabeth, okay, we're here. Are you ready, Silver Secret? We're going to ask Elizabeth about about all of the mysteries that we have been putting off. We're going to see if we can find out what's been happening. Now I've been to look at the runestone you asked me about. Fascinating, really, Saga. The runes tell the story of an ancient ritual that will open the mountain, whatever that means. Mississippi Jones must have figured out the ritual and hidden his treasure there. The good news is that we druids learned that ritual in preschool, so I know exactly how to open it. Preschool? There's a druid preschool? 
To open the mountain, you need to collect four different stones. They will be used in the ritual later, but first we need to find the stones. The first stone is volcanic red rock, and you'll find it in the mountain at the end of Everwind Fields. You need to find a way deep into the mountain to get that stone. I'm not sure how, but you I'm sure you will figure out a way to get, do it. Maybe you could ask someone there to help you? Oh my goodness, ride to the north part of Everwind Fields. Once you are there, try to find a way to reach the heart of the mountain to get some red volcanic rock. Maybe you can ask someone there to help you. Um, oh boy. Okay, see, this is the kind of thing I think Silver Secret would be so excited about because it's some big mysteries. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it seems like the crew leader? The crew leader? All right, you guys. Much to Silverglade's annoyance, it looks like we do need to go talk to that crew leader anyway. So if that's going to be the case, then we'll probably just go ahead and go over to Fir Grove and snag Miss Morse after all. So a Silver Secret probably wants to sidestep all of that silly romance, but I think we should do it. And let's see how much we could earn if we ran this race with Sophie. Um... Okay, we'll do it really quickly. We've only done this like a couple times. I'm not very good at this particular race. Silver Secret, your rump is like right in our face, but we're gonna try it out just because it's good to try to level him up at every available opportunity because we are very close to level 10 and I did say we wanted to reach that today. All right, but yeah, in the future, we will hopefully be doing those training videos. We might be streaming, I'll have to see, so that it'll be live and you guys will know where to find us. There's so many different places to go racing, but I should probably focus, before we do the training videos, on uh, actually unlocking more of the races, because I know there's quite a few races that I've not unlocked, and if we're going to actually like set aside a time and you can only one, run one race, like one of the races each day, like each race once I mean, then I should probably make sure I have as many races as possible unlocked. So hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. I know there's quite a few over in Yarlihim. Marley's race is clearly one that should have been set up ages ago and I've just been putting it off. Silver Secret, you are so good at this. Oh, come on. Okay, no, this is where I usually mess up. Ah! Yes, this is where I usually mess up. <laughs> Oh, the moss on that on that ro or on the rocks on the fence are so pretty. But now's not the time to pay attention to that stuff. All right, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Silver Secret. I really do struggle sometimes when they, you just have those sudden turns. All right, there we go. But I think that's actually the command that makes you turn faster, if I remember correctly, what you guys told me. Um, so if that's the case, then I definitely need to get some better command. So maybe I should put on some better gear while we race. That's the other thing too. I could really, uh oh. Where's the, oh geez. Cow, I didn't see it behind you. There we go, there we go. Oh, you really have to look out for the arrow here because there's just flags all over the place. Ah, oh, phew. All right, hello cows. But all right, you guys, so. We're going to head up to get Miss Morse because I think we need to convince her to come out of the mountain yet again. And yeah, I will work on getting a better training outfit. So that's what we'll do to prepare for our training days. At this rate, even though it sounds super far away, it's really close. At this rate, it would be pretty fun to be able to see uh, like our one year anniversary. Be able to cel celebrate the one year anniversary by starting training days. Training days. There we go. All right, see, just a little bit, not as much as it could be, but better than nothing. Good to snag that experience while we're here. But that also makes me think that if we are going to do training days, it would be a very good idea of me to open up as many of the races as I possibly could before we started. All right, and then let's go ahead. I guess we could also do a whole bunch of stable chores, <laughs> as exciting as that would be. And we're going to go up to Fergrove Village now, and we will snag Miss Morse out of the mountains. And we will go over and have her meet with the Northlink supervisor. And it seems like we need to win him over anyway. So maybe Miss Morse will be able to help us because who doesn't want to be able to see some volcanic rock from deep inside a mountain? That's just so cool. All right. So I need to find that little path I always miss. I think I just passed it. But we need to run up, and Miss Morse is actually hiding in the mountains. I think because we didn't take her all the way down to introduce her to the mysterious man that she is so intrigued with, then she still hasn't budged. So we need to convince her that, yes, come on. 
Even if he is a GED employee, maybe you guys can, like, find new employment for him. Maybe he's not that bad a guy after all. He's not really doing much work anyway, so maybe he's trying to stall and protect the mountain for all we know. And he does have an excavator and everything else we need, too. Alright, so up we go, up we go. And when you guys told me that getting the thing built, getting the gondola built, would send me all over Star Stable, like everywhere through the island, you really meant it. So I'm actually pretty amused by that. There we go. All right, Silver Secret. Almost to Miss Morse, and then we'll just jump ourselves back over to Steve's farm, because that's where we set our home stable for now. And down we go. All right, and there she is. All right, come on, Miss Morse. You definitely need to go see this guy, okay? So let's call for a pickup and we will all go and I will introduce you to the Northlink manager and hopefully you guys will really hit it off and everything will go well and I can bring back all of the mystery stones. I think that's really what Silver Secret would be committed to right now is like all of those mystery stones. The possibility of being able to connect with so many of the druids. And I think I'll go ahead and raise Silver Secret a little bit, but I'll do it on my own because we've done several races today. So I'll go ahead and have him catch some bunnies and do some of the other racing in just a little bit. I do love riding up this way instead of on the proper path because it's just so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And what's that? What is that behind the observatory? Has that always been there? Is that a house? What is that, you guys? I don't remember that being there. Is that the gondola? Oh my goodness. There's definitely some mysteries up on top of the mountain. Oh gosh, man, Silver Secret looks awesome. All right, well, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the gondola thing? I'm suspicious. Okay, well, let's keep moving. And we're gonna go ahead and introduce, oh, this is new too. Okay, is this the gondola? Is that what's going on over here? I guess I have a little bit of uh, chit chat to do. Yeah, I guess that's the gondola. That's so interesting. All right, well, we have a little bit of chitting chatting to do with the people setting all of this up. That's the gondola, so cool. So let's come over and see if Miss Morse, oh, she's arrived, you guys. Uh, let's do, it's a date first. Hello there, gorgeous. Are you the one who loves games as much as me? If you think you have a chance, you could try and beat me at Pole Bending Apocalypse. Of course, the cement saga. I'll deliver it right away, but first we'll test out this game here for just a bit. All right, there we go. Red volcanic rock? Come on, buddy. Red volcanic rock? I have millions of red volcanic rocks. Take your pick. When we blast out the tunnel, we fill truck after truck with them. They're behind the big cliff there. All right, sweet! And we can grab the red volcanic rock too. So he and Miss Morse hopefully are having a good time. And it looks like, let me wiggle this way. Where am I going to find it? The truck, truck behind the cliff. Hmm, did I pass it? Did I pass it? I don't know if I passed it or not. Is it down here? Okay, he needs some time to think about things. Darn, I was really hoping we would be able to advance this a little bit more. And other people need some time to think about things. All right, where is the red volcanic rock then? Something about the truck. Hmm, let's see. Redstones in large quantities. Pick a red volcanic rock and ride back to Elizabeth. Okay, and did I not complete the bars on the bridge? Darn, I need to take them. <laughs> I need to actually probably take them up to, um, I probably need to take them up to James. So, all right, well, I'm going to find the red volcanic rock and then I guess we're just gonna have to be patient because I was really hoping we'd be able to advance a little bit more of that, but let's see. Something about a truck covered in red volcanic rock. Well, where is it then? <laughs> oh man, all right, well, I'm gonna have to find it. That's always a little bit frustrating when I know it's probably somewhere nearby and I just can't see it. So phooey, all right, well, I'll look for the red volcanic rock. I'm gonna read it one last time. Behind the big cliff, truck after truck with them. Behind, is this the big cliff? So are they behind it? Like they threw it back here? This is a big cliff. Oh, this is a big cliff. Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Silver Secret. Oh, what happens if they like lose a whole bunch of their health? I would never want to do that to my horse, but it just occurred to me like that's something that may potentially happen. 
So did they mean like behind this big cliff? Or maybe they meant a little bit closer? What? Whoa! You guys! Hang in there! Hey, look what I just found! Alright! Well, I didn't find a red volcanic rock, but check it out! Sorry, 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 silver secret! We found a star! Well, that's pretty fun! Not quite what we were looking for, but at least we found a star. So alright, we'll look for some of the red volcanic rock and take it back to Elizabeth next time. And I will work on trying to raise up Silver Secret's levels a little bit more. And we'll have to see how uh, the potential romance between Miss Morse and the North Link fella, how that works out too. So, oh my goodness, and if you guys know where the rock is, I know this is so silly. But I can't seem to find it. Is it like this cliff? There's so many cliffs, you need to be more specific about which cliff you're talking about. This is it! Found them! Okay, I found them. Alright, I'll snag one of those and we'll take it back to Elizabeth then. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!